Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us in this session of Spokane Public Schools Keep Learning Series for Literacy. Today's lesson is for all our first graders out there, and any child who is interested is welcome to join us. My name is Katie Jensen, and I'm a reading interventionist and literacy coach at Stevens Elementary in Spokane Public Schools, and I'm going to be your teacher for this lesson. I'm so glad you are here participating with me today. If you didn't see our previous lesson, you can find it on the KSPS website. You can tune in to today's lesson if you haven't seen any of our others. Today we will be learning about cause and effect. For today's lesson, you will need a paper and a writing utensil. I'll give you a moment to gather your supplies. Let's get started. In today's lesson, we're going to be talking about something called cause and effect. The cause is something that makes other things happen. The effect is what happens. So the cause is why something happened, and the effect is what actually happened. As we read today, we're going to look at other examples of cause and effect in our text. Let's practice. Look at this sentence. Mr. McGreeley fell asleep because he was tired. The cause would be, why did he fall asleep? He fell asleep because he was tired. The effect would be, what happened because he was tired? He fell asleep. Let's get started with our story. Muncha, Muncha, Muncha by Candace Fleming and G. Brian Karras. For years, Mr. McGreeley dreamed of planting a garden. He dreamed of getting his hands dirty, of growing yummy vegetables, and of gobbling them all up. But he never once tried it until this spring, said Mr. McGreeley, this spring, by golly, I'm going to plant a garden. So he hoed and he sowed and he watched his garden grow. Lettuce, carrots, peas, tomatoes, yum, yum, yummy, said Mr. McGreeley. I'll soon fill my tummy with crisp, fresh veggies. But one night, when the sun went down and the moon came up, three hungry bunnies appeared. Tippy, 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 pat! Muncha, muncha, muncha! The next morning, when Mr. McGreeley saw his gnawed sprouts, he was angry. So he built a small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. There, he declared, no bunny can get into my garden now. So on this page, Mr. McGreeley builds a small fence. That's what happened. Can you remember why that happened? Why did Mr. McGreeley choose to build a small wire fence? That's right. The rabbits got into his garden and ate his lettuce. So this was the cause, and Mr. McGreeley building the fence was the effect. And the sun went down, and the moon came up, and tippy, 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 pat, spring hurdle, dash, 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 muncha, muncha, muncha. The next morning, when Mr. McGreeley saw his nibbled leaves and gnawed sprouts, he was really angry. 
So he built a tall wooden wall behind the small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. Hmph, he huffed. Those flop ears will never get over it. No bunny can get into my garden now. So why did Mr. McGreely build a tall wooden wall around the small wire fence? What caused him to do that? That's right, the bunnies jumped over his small wire fence. So that caused Mr. McGreely to build a tall wooden wall. That would be the effect. And the sun went down and the moon came up and tippy, 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 pat, dig, scrabble, scratch, 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 spring, hurdle, Sash, sash, sash. Muncha, muncha, muncha. The next morning, when Mr. McGreely saw his chewed stems, his nibbled leaves, and his gnawed sprouts, he was really, really angry. So he made a deep, wet trench outside the tall wooden wall behind the small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. Ha! He snorted. Those puff tails can't get under it. They can't get over it. No bunny can get into my garden now. What is Mr. McGreely doing now? He's digging that trench. Why is he doing that? Do you remember the cause? The rabbits dug under the tall wooden fence. So Mr. McGreely is digging a trench. And the sun went down and the moon came up and tippy, 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 pat, dive, paddle, splash, 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 dig, scrabble, scratch, 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 spring, hurdle, Dash, dash, dash. Muncha, muncha, muncha. The next morning, when Mr. McGreely saw his chomped blossoms, his chewed stems, his nippled leaves, and his gnawed sprouts, he was furious. So he hammered and blocked, sawed and stalked, drilled and filled, and trapped and locked and he built a huge, enormous thing before the deep, wet trench outside the tall wooden wall behind the small wire fence all around his vegetable garden. I've outsmarted those twitch whiskers for sure, he exclaimed. They can't get through it, they can't get under it, and they can't get over it. No bunny, no way, no how, can get into my vegetable garden now. What caused Mr. McGreely to build such a huge, enormous thing? What were the bunnies doing? That's because the bunnies swam through the water in the trench and climbed the wall. And the sun went down and the moon came up and tippy, 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 stop. The three hungry bunnies looked and smelled and touched the huge, enormous thing before them. And tippy, 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 pat, the bunnies hopped away. The next morning, when Mr. McGreely saw his untouched vegetables, he was happy. I beat the bunnies. He whooped and did a jiggly, wiggly victory dance. Then he climbed over, jumped across, squeezed between, and crawled under until he reached his vegetable garden. Ah, oh, sighed Mr. McGreely, at last. 
smacking his lips, he picked and pulled up lettuce, carrots, peas, tomatoes, and with his basket overflowing, he reached inside for something yummy. <gasps> muncha, muncha, muncha! It looks like Mr. McGreely is sharing his carrots now. What caused him to do that? That's right, the bunnies snuck into his basket. I think he's given up on keeping his vegetables all to himself. For today's activity, you are going to choose one or more cause and effect events that happened in our story. Write a sentence that tells what happened and why it happened. You can draw a picture to accompany each cause and effect scenario. Let's practice. So we need to think about what happened first. What happened and why did it happen? When we create our sentence, I also want to challenge you to use this word. Do you know what it is? That's right, because. So let's practice. For my what happened, I'm going to say that Mr. McGreely built a small wire fence. Now I add that word because Mr. McGreely built a small wire fence because the bunnies got into his garden. So for each cause and effect sentence you write, you need to have the word because in between your cause and effect. Let's look at some more examples so that you can get an idea of what cause and effect events you would like to write about. I have a table here showing different cause and effect events in our story. Remember, the event is what happened and the cause is why did it happen? So I have all the effects listed on the graph. The first one says, built a small wire fence. Do you remember the sentence I just read you? Why did he build a small wire fence? To keep the bunnies from eating his lettuce, right? The bunnies ate the lettuce, so Mr. McGreely decided to build a small wire fence. Let's go to the next one. Built a tall wooden fence. Why did Mr. McGreely build that tall wooden fence? Because the bunnies hopped over the small wire fence. The next effect says, dug a deep wet trench. Why did he do that? What was the cause? Because the bunnies dug under the tall wooden fence. Built a huge, enormous thing. Why did Mr. McGreely build that huge, enormous thing? What was the cause? Because the bunnies swam through the water in the trench. And then our last effect is shared his carrots. Why did Mr. McGreely share his carrots with the bunnies at the end of the story? because they snuck into his vegetable basket. You can write about any of these cause and effect scenarios. You can write about one, or maybe you write about all of them as an extra challenge. You can also draw this graph on your own piece of paper. You can draw a picture to go with the sentence or write what the cause was in the other column. This could help you with your sentences. As a bonus activity, you could write a letter to Mr. McGreely. You could write to him and tell him how he could get along with the bunnies. You could tell him what you think he should do. It's up to you. 
I've enjoyed doing some literacy learning with you today. Thank you for joining me as you keep learning from home. I look forward to seeing you again for our next lesson on KSPS. Thank you.